and Sarah and Josh Snowmobile. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I love drawing so much. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, some paper, and... Some to color with. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the ground or the snow. Let's draw a bumpy line. We're going to start here on the left side. And I'm going to draw kind of... I'm going to draw some of the bumps big and some of them small. Now let's draw the main shape of our snowmobile. We're going to start here and draw a diagonal line that comes down. So we can start, yeah, maybe start right about there and we can come, come down to about there. So we want to leave some space right here. Yeah, and then we're going to draw another diagonal line, but it's longer and we're going to curve up for the back. The sled. Yeah. Cool. Now up here, let's draw the hood. We're going to draw another diagonal line that kind of matches this line, but we're going to draw it shorter, not as long. And then we're going to draw it curving down and connecting to the bottom line. I'm going to extend this back line up just a little further. And you could even come a little further too. I like that yours is different and comes up higher. Now we're going to make this thicker. We're going to start about here and then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes all the way back and almost touches. And then right here at the end, let's draw a line to connect the two lines. Now let's draw the part where the handlebars come out. We'll draw a short line up and I'm going to draw a short line right here coming up too. And then we can connect those two lines together. Now let's draw another diagonal line. We're going to come back from that shape and then connect in. So I drew a diagonal line coming back and then right before you connect, there you go. Now let's draw the seat. We're going to draw right here and we can draw coming back. I'm kind of matching the same line right here. So you can start here and maybe come back to there. And then we'll draw a short diagonal line and then come back and connect to the main part. And we can add another line. Let's draw another diagonal line right there. Oh, it's starting to look really cool. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, now let's draw the handlebars. I'm going to draw two lines coming out of this shape. And then we can draw another line connecting those two together. Let's make it a thicker. These are the handlebars. So let's draw another line that matches right above it. And then let's connect the front and also the back. Or we could also draw a break. Maybe there's just a short diagonal line coming down. Cool. Oh, we could also draw a cable. Let's draw a cable coming out of the handlebars and connecting down. We could also draw a little windscreen. We'll draw another diagonal line coming up. And you could draw this a little bit bigger sometimes. Yeah, like that. I love that that's bigger. That's going to block more snow when yeah. you're going through the big powder. I'm going to draw a diagonal line that comes down and connects. Our snowmobile is floating. It looks like a hovermobile. Hover yeah. <laughs> Let's draw the skis in the front. Let's first draw two diagonal lines coming down close to the snow. So we're going to draw them like that. Let's actually jump down here and draw the skis connected to the snow first. So I'm going to start here and I'll draw a little curve and it's going to connect to the snow and then I'm going to come back about that far. Maybe a little further. Yeah, that looks awesome. And then right here at the front, we're going to make these come up a little higher because they got little hooks so you can grab onto them. Yeah, and we're tying them down. Now let's draw a line that connects to this arm that's coming down from the body. And then we're going to draw another diagonal line that connects to the back of the ski. I love how thick your skis are. Those are tough. <laughs> you could go over some pretty heavy stuff with that. Yeah. And we're going to draw that little loop on the front. We'll start at the top and then connect back to the ski. Let's come back up to the arm right here. And I'm going to connect the two lines. And let's draw the suspension. I'm going to keep it really simple and just draw short lines going down. It almost looks like a ladder coming all the way down that arm. 
Now let's draw the track on the back. This is the part that makes you go fast. We're gonna draw a wheel first. Let's draw right about here. So I'm drawing it right about there. Then we can also draw a wheel right here, just under the seat. And then let's draw a bigger wheel back further. I'm gonna draw right here, Whoop, a little bumpy. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> now let's draw the actual track. We're gonna start here and let's connect. We're gonna draw to a diagonal line to the bottom of the wheel. Then we're gonna connect this wheel to the back wheel. Then we're gonna draw another diagonal line connecting these the back to the top one. And then this one can just go inside of the sled. Yeah, now let's make it look thicker. I'm gonna trace around the exact same shape that we just made. Oh, and maybe where the bumps are, I'm gonna pretend like the track is in the snow. So I'll imagine it going behind those bumps. Yeah, and then coming out the back, around the back wheel, and then connect up to the top. Let's add more thickness to this tread. We're gonna draw a diagonal line connecting so it matches all of the other lines. Then we'll draw another horizontal line connecting the back wheels. Now let's also draw the suspension inside. We'll draw two diagonal lines connecting these two wheels together. And just like we did up here on the front, let's add a spring. We'll just draw short lines going across like a ladder. Let's add more of a frame inside of the track. I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines going this way. Oh, and we could add another suspension right here. I'm gonna draw two lines connecting to this front wheel or gear. Yeah, straight down. And then we could add those short lines for the spring. Now it doesn't look like it's gonna go very fast in the snow, let's add the little flaps. I'm gonna draw little spikes coming down and then right here it's going into the snow. So I'll stop drawing them on the bottom part. That's spiky. I like it. You don't wanna get run over by your snowmobile. Yeah. That one might hurt, mine too. Okay, now let's draw those flaps on the top part too. We want them to all match. Yeah, these look like um, nails, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's okay. And then when you come around this back wheel, you wanna turn those flaps until they go into the snow. Oh, that looks really cool. Let's add a few more details to our snowmobile up here at front. Maybe we can draw a line that comes over this front arm and then we can connect down to the bottom. We could also add maybe there's another one coming all the way across to the back. We could even put maybe some cooling back here or on top. I'm gonna to draw this crazy shape. And you could add as many little details or extra lines as you want. You could change your drawing so it looks even more different than ours. I'm gonna add a shape right here for, maybe that's for the headlight. And we could also, I'm gonna add one more shape over this arm. Oh, and we could also add a flap back here. This kind of keeps the snow from going up too crazy, especially if you have somebody following you. Yeah. You're gonna throw snow up in their face. <laughs> we did it, Austin. We finished drawing our snowmobile. It looks really cool. Except we still need a color. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you could pause the video if you want to match our same coloring or use our drawings as inspiration. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it. We finished coloring our snowmobiles and they turned out awesome. I especially love that they look different and that you chose different colors. It turned out perfect, buddy. Thanks. You can pause the video to match your same coloring. You can also change your drawings any way you want. You could also add a background. Oh yeah, you could add lots of mountains and even trees. Or more snowmobiles. Oh yeah, you could draw them really small in the background. Maybe they're jumping. Yeah. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your snowmobile. I'll <laughs> oh, see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.